So today we're going to be learning about the counting principle. This is often used in probability and statistics to figure out how many possible options there are. So let's start with the situation that I bring my lunch to school every day. At home, I've got two types of bread, wheat bread and rye bread. I also have three types of fillings I like to use. I like tuna fish sandwiches, I like cheese sandwiches, and I like peanut butter sandwiches. How many different combinations can I make so that I can have a different sandwich each day of the week? Well, one way to find that answer is to draw it out. I've got wheat and rye, and then for wheat, I have the three options of tuna, cheese, or peanut butter. And for rye, I have three options of tuna, cheese, and peanut butter. And we can see pretty quickly that we have six possible options. I can see there's a relationship between the number of decisions to be made and the possible outcomes. I could have multiplied two times three to find out that I had six possible options. And when I do that, I'm using the counting principle. The counting principle tells us that if we have two decisions to make, and there are m ways to make the first decision, and n ways to make the second decision, the product of m and n tells us how many different outcomes there are. So let's extend this example by adding one of four different fruits to my lunch. I happen to have grapes, oranges, bananas, and apples at home. When I draw out the graph, you can see it becomes pretty cumbersome very quickly. And the more choices I have, the more complex drawing it all out is. But I can do it using the counting principle. By multiplying 2 times 3 times 4, I can quickly see that I have 24 choices. And when we start looking at it in terms of probability, I say, well, what is the chance I'll pick any one of those by random? Well, that would be 1 in 24. Let's look at another example. As of 2015, there are 15,330 U.S. radio stations. Radio stations must start with the letter W or K, depending on where you live. How many four-letter combinations can there be so that each station will have its own call letters? Now, one way of doing that is to lay out my four possible options. Well, I know the first letter has to be either a W or a K. So I have two options, so I'll put a 2 in the first space. Then the next letter can be any one of the 26 letters in the alphabet. So I'll have 26 there. There are also 26 options for the third letter and 26 options for the fourth letter. By using my counting principle, I can say that answer is 2 times 26 to the third power or 35,152 possible combinations. Okay, let's look at a third example. Let's assume that there are roughly 300 million people in the United States that have a first, a middle, and a last name. So, how many different three-letter combinations of initials are there? Well, it's very similar to the other question. We have three possible options, and there's 26 letters for the first choice, 26 for the second, and 26 for the third. So when I multiply that out, I get 26 to the third power, or 17,576. If we assume that all possible three-letter initials are equally likely, what is the probability that someone will have my initials, LMG? Well, that would be 1 out of 17,576. And about how many people in the United States would you expect to have the initials LMG? Well, that would be approximately the 300 million times the probability of my letters. And when I multiply those together, I get 17,169 people. What if I change that problem a little bit? What if I want to know how many possible combinations where all three letters are different? Well, there'd be 26 for the first letter option, but I've used up a letter, so now there's only 25 for the second option and 24 for the third option. And I would need to multiply those out to find out the total. So that would be 26 times 25 times 24, or 15,600. The counting principle, or fundamental counting principle as it's often called, allows us to find the number of different outcomes given a series of decisions. This is fundamental in understanding the probability of a certain event occurring.